Furniture building can be intimidating, but we've engineered these stools to be easy to make. This tutorial requires no specialty tools and sticks to simple joinery. No fancy blind mortise and tenon here. Follow along to outfit your space with the DIY wooden stools you've been dreaming of. How to build a wooden stool with a square top cut legs to create the legs for the stool. First turn an 8 foot 2 by 4 into 2 8 foot 2 x 2 s. This is preferred over buying 2 x 2s because 2 by 2 lumber from the hardware store will have rounded edges, which isn't ideal for this application. To do this, rip 3 16 of an inch from each of the smaller dimension sides to remove the rounded edges. Next, set the table saw's fence to 1 to half an inch and rip the board down the middle. This should leave you with 2 8 foot 2 by 2. Actually dimensions are 1 to half an inch by 1 to half an inch, boards without rounded edges. Cut the boards into four legs measuring 32 inches in length. Cut rungs to create the horizontal rungs. Cut a 1 by 2 into 8 pieces measuring 14 inches. If you prefer a wider stool with a rectangular top, cut half of the rungs to a longer length. Drill pocket holes on each end of each rung. Drill two pocket holes. Make sure the holes on each end are on the same side of the boards so they will be hidden once mounted. Assemble ladders, the stool's base will resemble two ladders joined together. To assemble these ladders, lay two legs side by side on your work surface and follow these steps. Place two rungs between the legs with the pocket holes facing upward. Rip four pieces of scrap wood to a width of one half inch and slide them beneath each end of the rung for proper spacing. Adjust the rungs so that one rung sits 12 inches from the end of the legs and the other sits 12 inches from the other end. Apply wood glue to the end of each rung and clamp the rungs in place between the legs using long trigger clamps. Check for proper positioning once more, then screw into place with pocket screws. Repeat this process to create the second ladder. Join ladders use the remaining rungs to join the two ladders together, using the same process used to assemble the rungs. Instead of placing the rungs at the same level as before, position them 2 to 4 inches higher when joining the ladders. Mount seat supports cut the remaining 2 by 2 material into four 14 inch pieces and drill two pocket holes in each end, just as you did for the rungs. Use the glue and pocket screw method to mount them at the top of the stool, spaced 3 quarters of an inch from the top. Build seat the seat will consist of three 1 by 6 boards. The two outside boards will have notches cut at each end. The legs will protrude through the notches and sit flush with the seat. Follow these steps to create the seat. Cut a 1 by 6 into 3 pieces measuring 17 inches. Place the three boards side by side on a work surface, then space them 1 quarter inch apart. Carefully place the upside down stool base onto the seat boards, then trace the outline of the legs onto the boards. Remove the stool base and set it aside. Use a jigsaw or bandsaw to cut away the portion along the traced lines. Attach seat. Arrange the seat boards on the work surface once more and place the upside down stool base on the seat. Check the position of the boards and adjust if needed. Screw through the bottom of the seat supports into the seat boards using two 2 inch wood screws at the end of each board. To prevent splitting, drill pilot holes. Tip to help gauge your drill bit's depth, place a piece of tape 2 inches from the end of the bit. This will keep you from drilling through the seat boards. Sand the stool sand all surfaces with 120 grit sandpaper followed by 220 grit sandpaper. Route the seat to enhance the seat's comfort and add a stylish visual touch. Route the edge with a round over or chamfer bit, including the exposed end grain of the legs. Follow the router with 220 grit sandpaper. Finish the stool. Finish the stool by painting or staining and sealing the wood. If painting, prime with a raw wood primer and finish with a high quality spray paint. If staining, first apply a pre stain wood conditioner to prevent blotchiness. Stain with your desired color, then follow with a clear sealant such as polyurethane. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for proper application and drying time.